So now looking into a special kind of recurrence, which is called a linear homogeneous recurrence relation of degree K with constant coefficients. And it has the form, as you see highlighted there, a n is equal to some constant times a n minus 1 plus some constant times a n minus 2 all the way up to some constant times a to, the, to a sub n minus k where c1, c2 through ck are real numbers and ck is not 0 because if ck was 0, that means the order would change. Okay, so just some examples of what this sequence is and what it isn't. All of these are linear homogeneous with constant coefficients. Okay, as you can see, Pn equals 1.11 Pn minus 1. It's a constant coefficient. This one has degree 1. We have the Fibonacci sequence, which is degree 2. And we have this An equals An minus 5. Again, the, the highest number you subtract from n on the right-hand side is basically the degree. So this one is degree 5. These are not linear homogeneous with constant coefficients. The first one, the problem is this one's not linear because you're squaring one of the terms. This one's not homogeneous because, whoops, because the plus one is there. Homogeneous means that only terms of the sequence are involved. And this one would be linear, but there is not constant coefficients because of the n. Okay, so we're only solving the ones that have constant coefficients. So the question is, how do we solve it? We're just going to get right to it. So here is the premise here. We say that we assume the solution is of the form a sub n equals t to the n. So we're going to solve the recurrence a n equals a n minus 1 plus 2 a n minus 2, where the zero term is 2 and the first term is 7. So here's what we do. If a sub n is t to the n, that means we have t to the n is equal to t to the n minus 1 plus 2t to the n minus 2. And now what we do is we remove common factors or whatnot. Remember from algebra, a very effective tool was to divide both sides by the lowest power of t, which in this case is n minus 2. Now, we can get away with this because we're assuming that t is not equal to 0. If t was equal to 0, this would not be interesting at all. We would get an equals 0. And that just be, that's just a sequence of 0. So we're assuming that that is not the case. So in doing so, n over, well, if we divide something to the nth by something to the n minus 2, we get two powers left over. n minus 1 over n minus 2 would be t to the first and t to the n minus 2 over t to the n minus 2 would be 2. So look at that. We have a quadratic to solve. So this means we have t squared minus t minus 2 equals 0, which means t minus 2 times t plus 1 equals 0, which means t equals 2 and t equals negative 1. Now what do we do from there? This means that our solution has the form. I'm going to write it over here to the left a sub n is equal to some constant times 2 to the n. Remember, the, the solution was assumed to have the form a sub n equals t to the n plus some other constant times negative 1 to the n. So just replacing t with our numbers there. So the goal now becomes finding a and b, which we can find because of our initial conditions over here. Okay, so we know that a sub 0 is a times 2 to the 0 plus b times negative 1 to the 0, which is supposed to be equal to 2. So let's simplify that. That gives us the equation a plus b is equal to 2. Okay, a1 is going to give us a very similar equation. a1 is equal to capital A times 2 to the first plus capital B times negative 1 to the first, and that's supposed to give us 7. So this means we have 2a minus b is equal to 7. So we can solve that by either elimination, substitution, whatever you want to do there. I'm just going to add the equations together because that gives us 3a equals 9, which means a equals 3. And if a equals 3 in this equation, that means b is equal to negative 1. We would get b equals negative 1 in the other equation, of course. So this means that a sub n 
is equal to, now pull it all together, 3 times 2 to the n plus negative 1 times negative 1 to the n. And we could write that a little bit nicer. We can't really do much with 3 times 2 to the n, but we have negative 1 times negative 1 to the n, which we can write as negative 1 to the n plus 1. And that, that expression right there will tell us what each term is after that. So instead of using the recurrence, we can use the formula. Thanks for watching.